हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए फ्री ऑनलाइन डाटाबेस सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ए फ्री ऑनलाइन डाटाबेस इफ यू वांट टू गेट ए क्लाउड डाटाबेस फॉर फ्री देन दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू तो सो फॉर दैट जस्ट गो टू गूगल एंड ट्राई फ्री एस क्यू एल डाटाबेस एंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इंटर आफ्टर दैट यू विल गेट द फर्स्ट लिंक लाइक दैट just go there once you click on the link that it will open like that go below you can see there is a two version that mysql free and that is some paid version but we are going with the free version so because we want the free under free version you will be provided one database and you can create as much as many table you as you want just click on sign up once you click on sign up just click on sign up it will open a next page for you to give the email id detail now it will open like that here give you give the email id that you want so let me give my email id okay i have given my email id just click on i am not a robot and just click on register now it will come as a registration complete please check your email and visit the login page you go to your email i have gone to email it will came like that here it will thanks for registering please use this link to validate your registration just click on the link it will validate your registration now it will ask to give a new password for that further if you want to log in you can log in it so give the password that you want okay so i have given the password just click on save password now it will again come as a login place to login it again so give the email id let me not let me give the email id 720 and let me give the password just click on i am not a robot and just log in it now it will come as to select your which country you are uh, from just click select the i am from the india so select the india okay just select the india and just click on complete my registration okay now after that it will ask for you in which location your database associated of course this is a cloud database so you need to select the in which region you want your database to be located so of course i am from the india so i will select the asia pacific just click on save location this is the location where my database cloud is hosted so keep in mind this thing okay now click on start new database once you click on a start with new database it will give a detail for you database name database username database password and these all thing you are going to get here you can see here it is coming like that this is my database host name this is my database name and this is my username and database password these all thing it is it will generate after a few second and it will be sent to you over a mail so let's wait for the few seconds so that it will generate a password for me and give to my mail 
so once you refresh the mail you will get this thing here okay so let's wait for a few seconds after few seconds you will get a mail like that and here it is coming like that your account number is this and this is the database detail you will get over the mail just copy this detail and keep it for the future reference that we are going to use so keep in your notepad and these are the details that I am going to connect to database. Now how we can connect to a database? For that we need the MySQL database, right? So how to install the MySQL database? I have the video, just go and write MySQL database and also the installation of the MySQL database. I will give uh, the, the link in this description or box of the video. Once you have installed the MySQL database, just go and type here MySQL. It will open a workbench for you. Click on run as my administrator because this is my local system. Just I am going to run as administrator. Okay. Once it is installed, just click on the, of course, this is a new connection that we are going to connect to database, new database. So just click on new connection. Once you click on new connection, it will ask you a give to give a detail. So, so you write here like that. My any, any name you can write here. My new connection, my new, my new my sql data base connection okay after that protocol that is tcp that ip that is fine just give here the port number that you that uh, the host number host name this is the host name that i have that i just write here and just port number that we have the 3306 that is fine take the database username that is this is the database username that let's take it and the port and the password let me store into a vault so let's copy the password and just go to the store in vault and give the password and just click on ok now just click on test connection it will come like that key incompatible with the just go ahead continue anywhere and just click on ok now just click on ok my new connection has been you can set up just click on here now you can see my connect my database has been opened you can see here my database name is this and under that we can create a table so let's create a new table under this database I have already a script for creation at a table. Just let me explain you. I am creating a table under this database. Database name, let me copy it. This is the database name. I have written wrong. And database name is this. Okay, let me copy this and write here. Under the employee. Okay. I am creating a table under this database. My table name is employee. Under that, I have the I am creating a column with the employee ID, employee name, employee rating here and just click on create. Now you can see table has been created. Just see whether table has been created or not. Just click on select a star from and the database name and the table name that I have created. And just click on run. You can see table has been created currently though no value has been inserted you can see employee ID employee name employee rating here and the employer type so you can see how we can get the free cloud version of the database we have we have created a free now this I this credential you can use for the any database connect for the MySQL and you can run your database in the cloud environment so hope you have enjoyed it. Again, if you have any question, you can contact me. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you all.